So let's start by just thinking about the hamburgers. If you buy 100 hamburgers, how much money did you spend? Did you spend 100 plus $2, 100 minus $2? No, you spent 100 times $2. So the amount of money you spent on hamburgers is H times 2. And how much do you spend on bacon burgers? Well, $4 each, so each of them costs you $4, so B times 4. And overall, if you buy hamburgers and bacon burgers, you have to add up to get the total cost. And that's how problem one goes. They probably have the numbers in front of the letters, which is typical in algebra. But that is your answer. Square root of 3 times square root of 13. For this problem, we have to remember one of our square root rules, which is when you are multiplying two different square roots, you can combine them and just multiply on the inside. Square root of 3 times square root of 13 is square root of 3 times 13, which is 39. And that is our answer. For this problem, we just need to plug in the x and the y that they give us. So 3x squared becomes 3 negative 2 squared. 2xy becomes 2 times negative 2 times 3. Minus 3y squared becomes minus 3, 3 squared. And then we just start working out. Exponents go first. What's negative 2 squared? Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Three squared, three times three is nine. Then we do the multiplying. Three times four, that's twelve. Two times negative two is negative four. This three just comes straight down. We haven't done anything with it yet. Three times nine, that's twenty-seven. We still need to do more multiplying. Four times three, that is twelve. And now we do all the addition and subtraction. 12 minus 12 is 0. And 0 minus 27 is negative 27. And that is how you evaluate an expression. To start this problem, you need to remember, what does squared mean? Squared means times itself. So we need 3x minus 4y times itself, times another 3x minus 4y. And then when we have something like this times something like that, we need to use the FOIL process on it. First, outside, inside, last. Our first pair is 3x and 3x. 3 times 3 is 9. x times x is x squared. On the outside, we have 3x and negative 4y. 3 times minus 4 is minus 12 x times y is xy. On the inside, minus 4 times 3 is minus 12. y times x is xy. You generally put letters in alphabetical order. For the last pair, take the last of each of them, minus 4y times minus 4y is positive 16y squared. And once we foil it out, we want to combine like terms. Our only like terms are these xy's in the middle. That gives us 9x squared. Minus 12 and minus 12 combines to give you minus 24. And that's still a plus 16y squared there. And that is that answer.